In this tutorial, we're going to add search functionality to our address book sample application. So I'll go ahead and open that project, and we see the files we created in previous tutorials, the friends table, and the address book report, and the JavaFX user interface file. So what I did to this file is I added a few fields to it. I added a text field, which I configured to have search text as the name, and then I added a label and then on top of that I added a simple image that shows that we have absolute placement in JavaFX and we have compositing so we get some nice effects there. So what I want to do now though is create a new file and this I want to be a Java programming file and it prompts me to name it the same as my JFX file and I, that's good because I want this to be an owner of the JFX file and so I'll go ahead and import uh, some JavaFX classes for Javi, and then I'll declare that I want this to be a JFX file owner. So this class has some interesting methods, one that responds to all events that happen to uh, any controls inside of a JavaFX file. So I'll go ahead and override that method, and this method takes a JFX event And what I want it to do is handle search text. So if an event is equal to search text, I want it to do something. Otherwise, do normal version. And what I want it to do is talk to that table. So I'll get a pointer to the table in the form of its file, and it's a Javi table file. And I can simply get that by asking this class to get file called friend table. And with that table selected, I can just say table and ask for its primary view, and say set filter to the events string value. And since the event represents the search text, it will actually extract the string from that text field. So it compiled this automatically when I saved it, and when I double click on this Java file, it launches it as a separate application. And so now if I type in a name, it searches for that, and I can type in different names, and every time I hit return, it will do the search for me. So what I might want to do, though, is have it respond every time I click. And the way I'll do this is configure uh, this uh, JFX file owner to send events for that field on key released. So I'll do that in an initialization method. And this default initialization method is called init UI. And so in here, I will say enable events on search text. And the event I want to enable is key released. Now the problem is, is that the, the moment that key is released, the text field hasn't been updated yet, because it's an event and we get the choice of overriding it. And so what I'll do is defer this call until after it's been processed. And we could do this with a normal invoke later call. But what we'll do instead is we'll use a, a Java Inventors facility for this, and I'll say if an event is a resend, then do the normal version we've coded up. Otherwise, let's uh, register for a resend. So when it goes through, uh, the, the first time it won't be a resend, so it'll get resent, and then the second time it'll be a resend, and we'll set that filter value. So it's compiled, and I'll double click again. And now we have uh, the application, and as I type, it updates my search for me. So I can type in Paul, or John, or Susan. And then with that selected, I can click on my address book report. And there's a report of all my addresses. I can even bring up a PDF version of this by clicking on the PDF viewer and it brings up the default PDF viewer to show that report. So this is the end of this tutorial.